Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. And today, I want to talk about what made Skyrim boring to me. Now, it's not actually the game's fault that it's boring to me. I think it is my own fault. What I noticed is I have a character that I really like playing Skyrim on and I've raided a ton of dungeons. Done a good fair share of quests on the character, probably more dungeons than quests. And what made Skyrim boring for me was... There is this kind of meta you could do in the game, right? Where if you wanted to level up your character super well and stuff back when the game first came out, you would like go raid a dungeon, right? So let's talk about, you know, the mine when you, at the start of the game that's next to you. So you raid the mine, mine the iron, do the smithy quests, you know, get the smithy skill up, do all of that. And what made Skyrim boring to me was I would play it the same way over and over and over again. <clears throat> so what I mean by that is, first I made a character, I want to say it was a heavy armor character. So it was a sword, a shield, and a heavy armor, no it was an axe, a shield, and a heavy armor character, right? That's what I did. And I grinded up my smithy, I did like the main quest to a point, I think I met the dragon on top of the mountain, I don't even know what his name is. Never completed the main quest of Skyrim, which I should probably do. And then I just ran around with the axe and the shield, getting like the best possible gear, getting my smithy skill up on par with my gear so that I could upgrade my gear even more, right? And level myself up. And I had this kind of meta going, and then I stopped playing Skyrim. And then I made another character, almost exactly the same except with light armor and a sword instead of an axe. And then I made another character, exactly the same, right? Except I used a bow less, I used less bow. So I was at a, at a disadvantage because I had no range attacks. And I, every character I created, I just played Skyrim the same way over and over and over again, right? Now Skyrim's an open world game, so you'd expect, oh, you know, I make a character, I go explore Solitude, or I go explore Morthal, or I go explore Valkyrie, you know, whatever. Do do that kind of thing. No, I played Skyrim the same way, like five different characters, and it made the game super boring to me. I didn't like Skyrim. Like after a while, I was like, Skyrim's a stupid game. And then, um, I believe it was the house building DLC came out. It was like, oh, a new thing. So I took a character that I think I already had been playing at the time, and I built the houses. It was super fun. I liked Skyrim, and then Skyrim got boring again because I built all the houses, and I was like, well, nothing to do. When in reality. I, I'd done the Companions a couple times. I'd done the Dark Brotherhood once. I haven't done the Thieves Guild. I'm doing the Thieves Guild right now. Never completed the College of Winterhold. Never been a Thane anywhere but Whiterun. So I'd never been, like the only place I'd ever been a Thane was Whiterun, okay? And it was like, I, I realized that I was playing Skyrim the same way every single time. And then I noticed when I made Oblivion characters, I wondered why Oblivion was boring. I was playing the characters the same way every time. And so I think um, what happens is when you're playing an open world game, you know, and I used to kind of make fun of the people that got really deep into it and did experiments and stuff like that, where like they'd play The Sims and make a stupid sim, a mean sim, right? I'm like, why don't you make the sim rich? Or they'd make a sim who was super poor, or they'd make a sim who lived outside, or a sim who like lived forever. Skyrim, you have a character that only uses magic, you have a character that only pickpockets, you know, stuff like that. And I realized that because I'd been playing these games the same way over and over and over again, that they got boring to me, right? Look at the game like Kingdom Come Deliverance. You can, you pretty much have to play that game, basically, there's no real like meta you can change around in that game. Maybe you're a better archer one time, maybe you're a better swordsman, but it's not to the level of Skyrim or Oblivion. But the gameplay of that game isn't the focus, it's the story. With Skyrim, the gameplay's the focus, and when you make the gameplay the same over and over again, it's boring. So, don't fall into the trap I did. If you have an open world game, don't be afraid to experiment with different things, right? Just now, or just this last month, April 2019, I made a build in Oblivion called the Hammer and Shank build, or Slash or whatever I called it. I think I call it Hammer Stab. Smash and Stab, but like, I just took that build and I made a build that I thought would be fun to play. And I'm probably gonna play with that build soon. 
or maybe not soon, but I'll play it. So that's really it for this video, guys. That is what made Skyrim boring to me was I played it the same way every single time, and I wasn't, and I was like, I just didn't want to experiment with it. So let me know what you thought of the video down in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Skyrim and Oblivion. I'm Pacific the Cows Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode of Stream Vlog or Steam It Post. I say Steam, I don't even use Steam anymore. I say Instagram. Or whatever I said to make. <laughs>